In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to utilize time recording in a VR experience and submit it then view it as a result. The first thing that we need to do is to open the 3D model that we will be working with. Go to the SimLab Academy, then VR Evaluation, then User Defined and select Timing. You will find two items there, the first one is going to play the tutorial video, so move on to the next item and drag and drop it onto the 3D area to load the environment. This is a VR experience of a fire drill, and to get to know it better, let's run it. From the VR Viewer menu, select Show in Viewer. Select the viewing mode depending on the type of VR device that you have. If you do not have a VR headset, run the experience in desktop mode. At the end of the VR experience, the time it took the user to complete the task will be displayed on the screen, and that time is what we are going to report as a result upon completing the VR experience. In SimLab VR Studio, open the Training Builder. Head to the Extinguisher tab. Here, you will find the responses that are responsible for displaying the time once the user puts out the fire. As you can see, there is a variable named duration that will store the difference in time between the variable time 1, which is recorded at the beginning of the experience, and the variable time 2, which is recorded at the end. What is left to do is to report the value of the variable named duration to the teacher or the administrator. To do that, add a report response node to the training builder work area by dragging it and dropping it. Same with other responses, the report node needs to be attached to an event or to follow up a response, so let's attach it to the show hide response that displays the time. There are different states that the report node can submit or report. Completed is usually used when the user ends a lesson or a VR experience, regardless of whether he passed or failed. There is also failed, which is used when the user fails to achieve a certain task. Passed when the user succeeds and scored to send a numerical value without a state of passing or failing. Let us choose the completed type, since it can send a duration variable. The object named field is where you can describe what the user has completed. So imagine if you have multiple phases in the experience, and you want to report each one, then you will need to use multiple report responses for each phase, and in each object name, you can describe the phase. But in this experience, since it's only comprised of a single phase, we are going to type fire drill to denote the whole experience. Now the report would say the user has completed the fire drill. Click on the duration field and select the variable name duration to submit it. Underscore, you can add a variable if you have a variable that is recording the user's score, but in this experience there isn't, so we are going to leave it blank. If you were to move down in the same tab of the training builder, you will find another response node that sets the time for the variable named duration. This response is triggered if the user takes more than 60 seconds before starting to put out the fire, and therefore, an automatic sprinkler system would go off, signaling that the user has failed to achieve the task at hand. To report the user's failure, add a report response and attach it to the show and hide response. Set the responses type to failed, and in the object name field, type the fire drill. Same with the earlier report we created, we are going to leave the score field empty. Let us run the experience and see what happens in case the user does not complete the task in time. From the VR Viewer menu, select Show in Viewer. 
Notice that a message has appeared, informing us that the results will not be submitted since this is a test run from VR Studio and not an uploaded lesson. Let's take things slow now and stall for around 60 seconds without putting out the fire. As you can see, once you hit the 60 seconds mark, the water sprinklers go off and you get a message notifying you that you have taken too long. Now that the lessons has been successfully created, let us see how we can distribute it and see the results once the participants go through it. Open the evaluation menu. From here, you will find multiple ways to export the experience as a lesson. You can either upload it as a lesson to SimLab cloud servers, or you can export it as a SCORM or an XAPI package if you're using an LMS or LRS system. In case you don't, select Upload Lesson. Log into your SimLab account. If you are a part of several organizations, select the one where you want to upload the lesson to. In the Upload Lesson dialog, type in a name for the lesson and optionally, you can select a thumbnail for it. Under Lesson Assignment, select which group and course you want the lesson to be assigned to. You can also open the VR settings to toggle on the Optimize Package option and to select which menu items the participants get access to. Once you're done, click OK to upload the lesson. Now that the lesson has been uploaded to SimLab Cloud, let us go about distributing the lesson. From the VR Viewer menu, select Open Viewer. In the VR Viewer, sign into your account. Select the same organization where you uploaded the lesson to and click Confirm. Under My Courses, you will find the course named Emergency Training, where we uploaded the lesson. Double-click it to view its content. Select the Fire Drill lesson and from the panel to the right, select Share. Select the trainees or the participants that you want to share the lesson with and click OK. I'm going to log out of the administrator account and log in as the student that the lesson has been shared with. As you can see in the top right corner, this is the name of the student I shared the VR lesson with. As a student, I will go to the tab with the organization name and there, I will find the course named Emergency Training. Double-click it to view the lesson inside it, then select the lesson and run it in either desktop mode or VR mode. Once the trainee puts out the fire and the time record appears, the report will be submitted right away. Now that the results have been submitted, Let's see how we can view them as teachers or administrators. In SimLab VR Studio, from the Evaluation menu select Administrator. Select the organization that you have been working with and click OK. In the Administrator, switch to the Courses tab, then under the group and course where you assign the lesson, double-click the lesson's thumbnail. As you can see, the trainee's result can be seen in a single row that contains the trainee's name, the submitted actions, the object name, the date of submission, and lastly, the duration it took the trainee to finish the lesson. Refer to the SimLab Academy in VR Studio to learn more about VR evaluation.